Okay, uh, welcome back to my channel. As I promised uh, in the unboxing videos of uh, these boots, I promised you to compare the difference between the uh, Makto 8 inch and this is the Makto uh, in 6 inch. Um, as you can see, obviously, it's uh, not the same color. And um, many people think that uh, the um, 8 inch Makto is just a taller version of the 6 inch, but uh, that's not actually the case. Um, I can put this away and this one. And as you can see here, these are the 8849 in the Black Prairie uh, version. And as you can see here, it's stitched down in this area. Okay, this one is not, it's stitched all the way from the back here, as you can see, okay, and when you take a look inside this boot, if you can see it but it's just one layer of uh, leather here as you can see and in the 8 uh, inch boot you can see it's actually a double layer of leather inside can you see that you can see this edge here and that goes all the way from the uh, all this portion here is a double layer leather that you have inside the boot and uh, it's really comfortable because uh, your foot is down in this area and the double layer goes uh, what can I say it uh, hugs your foot uh, pretty good and it's uh, actually a very comfortable boot. I have uh, worn this a few times. I was out hiking yesterday with my kids and I worn these boots. So they uh, got a little bit muddy. But uh, before the video I just uh, brushed off uh, here in the welt around and the uh, side of the soles a little bit. But uh, not much. And um, I was having some issues, uh, not issues, but uh, I, um, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I, I'm not used to having this much material in the tongue, as you can see. I'm used to these ones, and you just lace them up, and it's uh, perfectly good. And you see these ones. If you just lace them up, you will have this going all the way up and it's not comfortable up in um, up in the top here so what i did was uh, took my foot in here and i start lacing the bottom and i fold this piece here like that you can see and it was uh, much, much uh, more comfortable. And I did that with uh, both of them. So, and you can see this ones as well. I start just lacing them up. And, um, and um, just fold it a little bit here to um, get it more comfortable uh, on my leg, okay? And I have seen people uh, start uh, from down here and fold it, but uh, for me it's okay to just to fold the upper part here, okay? I find that uh, that works for me, okay? Um, this boot uh, will uh, get a nice patina. Uh, it uh, will be a lot more dark 
and if you get some scuffs and uh, if you see see pictures online they are really really dark in uh, areas and uh, that's how this will uh, get the patina okay um, which uh, this boot will get a totally different patina because as you can see it's uh, brown on the inside here and after a while when you use them and this uh, got uh, scratched up and uh, used this brown will shine through areas of the boot and it uh, will give it a really really nice character and uh, patina uh, it's uh, it's not so much pictures uh, online of this boot uh, but the few I have found they look really really good and it's the same leather that it's in the blacksmith uh, 3345 okay you know I have um, some uh, Dundas footwear boots and I have to say I found a pair online that uh, was uh, two years old but the uh, owner had uh, never used them so uh, I got a reasonable good uh, price on them so I bought them so I will do an unboxing on them uh, this week and I ordered yesterday a pair of JK boots uh, they are super duty boots uh, so I'm really looking forward to that and I have sold a couple of my Red Wing Iron Ranger boots because um, I got too many and it's the same style uh, on them so uh, I just wanted to try something different like this uh, Maktos and um, the JK boots I will uh, use for uh, work and uh, some uh, hiking and stuff like that uh, working around the house and you know I know many people use these boots to work as uh, well um, it's uh, really comfortable I can't uh, it's really soft it's uh, compared to the Iron Rangers these ones is like uh, walking on clouds actually and um, you get a great support around your ankles and uh, leg um, yeah they look nice don't they and i uh, registered this uh, oral legacy boot here uh, as my second pair in the patina thunderdome uh, contest so um, and uh, this these boots here I have uh, not worn yet so uh, but I will be and I forgot to mention as you can see inside the uh, I, I don't know if you can see that but uh, yeah you can see that you see it's uh, the toe part here it's that double layer that the um, 8 inch have all around the foot this one has from here and around okay and uh, the iron rangers actually have a, a kind of fabric in the toe there it's not fully leather lined as these ones but the beckman is uh, fully leather lined on the inside from the part here and around and this one as you can see again uh, it's a uh, double layer of leather all around and that uh, makes them really comfortable so i highly recommend the um, oral legacy uh, leather uh, this one is the 877 and they have a 1077 i think it was I, i'm not sure um, but it's a, a different leather anyway it's a lit, uh, lit darker and um, uh, it doesn't uh, get the same patina as uh, these ones so yeah I really hope you like my videos and uh, 
I will keep you updated on my new uh, Dundas footwear boots that uh, will arrive today or tomorrow, I guess. And uh, I'm not sure how long it will take for me to get the JK boots, but uh, as soon as I have them, I will do an unboxing on them and uh, first uh, first impressions because it's the first uh, boot I have in that style uh, whatsoever. So, okay. Please like and subscribe and I see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye bye.